Salute, men. Calm, cool, and collective. Carry yourself like a man. Masculine frame. Charismatic and confident simultaneously. The stoic, centered, masculine dude. Yo, it rolls. Bam. Bad boy D. Masculinity. Combine street smarts with book smarts and brawn. You'll truly be unstoppable in this world. When you go through life with low confidence and not in your positive masculine frame, more negative things are going to happen to you. Life doesn't comply with us all the time, obviously, and that's somewhat the beauty of life. However, when you follow the positive masculine principles, you're more adaptable and being able to acquiesce to the bumps in life, the ups and downs, the bumpy road, it will be smoother and you'll be able to get through it in a much smoother manner. And the law of reciprocity just dictates that. I'm a firm believer in that. I also call it the order of the father. There's dudes with street smarts, there's dudes with book smarts, there's dudes with brawn, but there ain't a lot with the the ultimate triad. You have to command respect to earn respect. And don't be scared to check people. Because the more you check them, the less you'll have to check them. I've said it before, there's still people that'll come touch the flame again and again and again. However, you will have to do it less the more you require doing it. Don't go around being an asshole and checking everybody. However, you ensure it's done when required to do so. There's far too much praising women in this society. Give them rewards, throw them scraps, give them treats, but make sure they earned it. Be a man with a clear quest and purpose. There's a lot of purpose talk around, going around right now. And you should find your passion. But if you're in a specific job, Take pride in that job. Do the best job you can. Have faith that good things will happen if you put in hard work. And it does. Just have that have that faith in your heart. And trust that the Father sees it and will reward it. And it will happen. Nothing will lower your masculine frame more than praising women for stuff they didn't earn. If they've participated in your life and added value to your life, there's nothing wrong with it. Eye contact is extremely important. I don't give eye contact to dudes all the time, but if you're a friend with somebody or in a business arrangement or you see someone as maybe an equal, that's when it's extremely important. But no, I don't mean mug or have a little beta male staring contest with dudes. Don't do that crap. Masculine frame isn't walking around like your Robocop. You still want to have a human element to you. You don't always have to be robotic masculine frame. The majority, the far majority, I forget the exact percent of communication is non-verbal. So sometimes the less you talk, the more you communicate. Sometimes the less you talk, the more attractive you are to women. A lot of women say he was attractive till he opened his mouth. The same applies to women. I've found a lot of women extremely attractive until they open their mouth. Most of us prefer feminine women. I certainly do. You carry yourself in such a way that I am a man. I love myself. I am confident. And people 
will sense that. Learning more skills, trying new things. You feel great, but it's not, it's not the right way to do it. You still want to be humble, a man of the most high, and confidence while keeping your ego in check. Nothing wrong with being a strong, masculine protector. Notice I didn't say provider. Women love a man they can feel safe and comfortable with. It's real easy when you find out some of this red pill or masculine frame information to feel like you're better, feel like you're above, and have that condescending ego mentality. Like all the vegans from 10 years ago when vegans just became a word, they all of a sudden acted like their doo-doo didn't stink and thought they were better than everybody. It's easy to have that mentality with what we know, but the ideal level of confidence we should have is having that high level confidence without the ego. Still being a kind, centered, solid man. Not scared to put people in check. And you can learn to be smooth, calm, and centered. You're gonna stand well above the pack. And I don't blame the father figures. I don't blame my dad for not providing that masculine mentorship. I blame the programming that they were programmed into. It's real easy to point fingers. However, I think we should take responsibility and ownership in improving ourselves and finding the right mentors and information. But you want to have a human element to you. However, you're not a flamboyant, goofy clown or a soy boy that does that soy face if he sees a Nintendo Switch. This might be a thing of the past now due to COVID-19! COVID-19! However, handshaking is extremely important. You want to shake hand like a man. I don't particularly like it when somebody tries to break my hand, but I do have more respect for them than somebody with a weak limp. Oh, nothing's more disgusting to me than a weak limp handshake. I usually, I'm neutral with my handshake. Because I'm basically shit testing the other person. Then I'll ramp it up or lower it down depending on their specific handshake. But sometimes I don't, because once it's limp, I don't even I don't even want to deal with the person. Nothing wrong with having a, a sense of sternness to you, that people notice that sternness. Some people have asked me if I was like a police officer before, or a, a military officer, and I took it as an extreme compliment. I didn't get all giddy and off-center, but accept compliments like a man. I was like, interesting, thank you. It's okay to crack jokes and laugh. It's a cool, calm, centered aura of confidence that you'll have. Don't fake it till you make it, but practice makes perfect. And you can adjust where required. As you get more in your masculine and center, you will be in a better mood internally most of the time. But if you're not in a good mood and you're not feeling things, don't act. Don't be a cookie cutter people pleaser. If you're not feeling stuff, you're not feeling it. And you can let them know in a cool, calm, centered, masculine way. When you have a certain masculine frame about you, even the police won't mess with you. There's gonna be exceptions. However, every interaction I've had with the 5-0 in the last several years have been pleasant. I looked at them in the eyes talk to them in a stern manner, and they gave me the same common courtesy, respectful conversation. I know with, uh, with what's going on in the world right now, 
There's exceptions with certain races and stuff, but I have heard the same people. This, I have heard the same thing from different colors and creeds of men who hold a masculine frame with the popo and haven't had a problem. There will be exceptions. 